Welcome everyone! While Liquid Glass is one of the standout features in iOS 26, after the update you will notice your app icons don't have that effect. Some users will notice throughout the entire operating system the Liquid Glass just isn't working. So what I'm going to show you is how to change your app icons to get Liquid Glass on or off and then how to turn on or turn off the Liquid Glass effect throughout the entire operating system. So starting with your iPhone icons, if we want to change the settings for them, on your home screen, just long press anywhere where there's empty space, and then release once the app icons start to jiggle. Once this is done, I want you to tap on edit at the top left, then you're going to select customize. Inside of this one, the liquid glass effects are under clear and you can choose light or dark and then tinted still has that liquid glass effect and you can set a custom color right here. Even if liquid glass is not set on your app icons, it still will apply to the rest of the operating system. Now, if in other parts of the operating system, like control center and the dock, etc., you want to turn on or off that liquid glass effect, the option is found inside of our settings. Then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. Then you're going to look for where it says display and text size. And the option you need to select is the reduce transparency. So when you tap this to turn it on, this will disable liquid glass. You can notice my dock is now solid. My control sensor doesn't have that liquid glass effect. And the thing you should note, if you do do this, it doesn't actually improve the performance. So if you have iPhone 11 and you do this, you won't notice a performance boost. But if it's distracting, you're struggling to read stuff, then use the reduce transparency option on or off. Now, real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you do find this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video really useful. Thank you. And if you didn't find this video useful, just leave any questions, any concerns. I'll try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye.